Oh, oh my god. My plug just fell out. Okay guys, back with another unboxing video. Today we're going to be doing the August Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I'm not sponsored by the company, this is just showing you guys what I got in the box. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right in. So I did happen to use some of these brushes, so don't mind that. But aside from that, this is the box. Open it up. You got so we got these Be, Be Beautiful BU Faro brushes. I did use these brushes um, because I did my makeup for a wedding and I wanted to use clean brushes because I don't wash my brushes. Super soft and these are the ones I used but they worked really good. Um, I did, I have all clean brushes here so I'm super excited to do my makeup, um, face brushes, some more eye brushes some more face brushes like can you have enough brushes no you can't you there's so many so these are really cute i love that i got like a set of that like that's awesome yeah. got the brushes we got sorry i'm just trying to hold it up for y'all it's really hard but it's a blush set by NYX, NYX, Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette, but it's just this one. The best thing that's in here is a palette, like the Balm palette. Oh, let's crack this open. So Sorry if the music's loud in the background, I just need to have something in the background when I'm recording so it doesn't feel weird that I'm talking to a camera by myself in my room. I can't wait to do a look with this. I'm thinking of doing a smoky eye because I have not done a smoky eye in a while. We got these cute blushes, like you can buy singles of these I believe, but how cute, right? I already got the mirror dirty because my fingerprints, but <sighs> super excited to use this. Then we have the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. So this is a face mask. You put it on, it gives you like moisture, fins, and smooth skin, providing intense hydration and comfort. Apply once or twice a week, rinse after three to five minutes, or leave all night. Approved for sensitive skin. We'll be using this, and if I do like it, then you'll probably see it in a favorites video. We got, I think this was an add on, and it was like $3, but look at the size of this thing. Like, hello super tiny i actually use this as a moisture gel lotion it says by it cosmetics this one was it has a good texture it's like lightweight and it moisturizes it does what it says so i mean no complaints there would i buy a whole bottle maybe if it's if i see like because right now my skin feels pretty smooth so we got that going on and we have a lip oil here by Jelly Pong Cosmetics. Jelly, oh, Jelly Pong Pong. <laughs> and cruelty free, so we love that. Vegan. And this is in the color Cherry Tomato. I know my camera sucks at focusing, but sometimes it focuses, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just there, you know, trying to show y'all. Sorry. So super cute box, packaging. And this is the lip oil. Oh crap, these nails. I'm not used to having long nails, um, but I did them for a wedding, so I was like, looks a little bit um, bright on the bottle, but when you open it up, let's try this. Pretty cute, it's like a light kind of pink color to it. So it gives you the option to customize your box and you can add on things um, and just pay a little bit more. So I think in total I paid like 25 around there or something. This I tried um, when I took a shower. Papa Recipe Bombi Honey Moisture Cleansing Foam. It smells so good. It smells like candy and it's giving me like a nostalgia kind of like scent 
thing. I, like I smelled it before and I'm definitely gonna buy the full size of this because it worked really good. And it's like that lightweight, it's like a foam. Let's take a look at the color. Oh, so this is a pretty, um, kind of like a muted green. Super cute. I would give you guys like a, a swatch, but I have like set. Super cute. I actually did this set myself. Um, I kind of showed it briefly in a vlog, like just a quick little like, um, like quick little footage of me doing my nails. Um, I do do them myself. I have like use a gel, so this is not acrylic. This is a all gel built, just with tips, and they last a long time. They last like two weeks. I haven't broken one yet, but this one, oh my god, this one hurts so bad. I pulled it back, and I was like. You guys want to see like a, t a full tutorial in debt with all the details just comment nails tutorial down below and i will try my hardest to film it I'm not like a nail channel but this is just like how i do my nails and they're not like perfect but i mean i do try to how i like them um so that's how i do it like just the length and everything and design and yeah so to the box this is a super cute color. All right, so we're gonna jump into the tutorial now using the Ipsy products that are in the box. So here are these chokers. I got them at Walmart. Um, it was a set. One of them broke. It was like a little circle diamond with a chain and it broke. Then there was this one, a couple of other 588. Can't beat that. <laughs> There's some like little lines going across the screen and it has to do with like certain lights that are in the frame so sorry if that bothers you guys but i this is the only camera i have to record on so deal with it <laughs> i'm just kidding uh, so i'm gonna clip my hair back because we don't want to get foundation in it just here we have the mark jacobs foundation since the box doesn't come with foundation we're gonna just go ahead and use one that we already are uh, have Nick's brush and i'm just going to apply a little bit on there oh i'm like did i prime my skin i primed with the um wet n wild coconut primer really good inexpensive and smells great okay so we're gonna apply in the center of the face i'm just gonna add another pump just a small tiny one just to get the blemishes yeah i was looking at some old photos of myself like back in 2015 my makeup was pretty cute i mean i didn't have all the materials i have now and i don't even do my makeup half the time that i have all this stuff but back then it was like okay like on fleek i'm gonna take this revolution um, stick foundation in f2 and where i have blemishes i have like my beauty marks that i always try to cover and dip brow pomade in dark brown by anastasia i have been like not doing my eyebrows they're like growing in i, I don't even care at this point like i'll get them done eventually so gonna take an angled brush I need to really get my eyebrows done, like seriously, they're looking like bushes right now. They look this is my favorite brush to like conceal the brows with because it has that like flat edge to really get in there. 
I don't have my shape tape, so I'm gonna use what I have on hand. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define. Place it under the brow. This e.l.f. eyeshadow primer in sheer. Apply some of that there. Some rose water spray because I did not soak it. I'm just going to soak it with that and use this end to blend out that primer. Now, I would have used the brushes that came in the set, but of course, they're kind of stained. So until I wash them, I'm not going to use them. Because it can compromise some of the colors. But this one's the only one that's not used, so I'm going to take that one. So that clean one. I'm going to pick up the... Oh, I know. Pick the lightest shade right there. It's Matte Adore. Matte Russo. Pick that up on the brush. Put that into the crease right there. That's a really pretty like transition shade, like that light brown. I'm noticing I really have to pack this color on to kind of see a difference. I mean, it's very light. I don't know if it's that or this light, it's really bright. But. Okay, that's showing up a little bit better. You just probably have to build up the color a little bit. Doing the same on this eye. To intensify this look a little bit more, I'm going to be going into this um darker shade this is me matte trim trimony matte read i don't i don't know that one and we're gonna go in with this color pop brush it doesn't have a number but it's just like this fluffy pick up that color oh my god that one has so much fallout oh my god Put that in the outer V of our eyes, right here. Take it up a little bit in there. It's a pretty um, champagne kind of color. Oh. Now I really wanted to do like a cut crease, but we're just gonna see how like it goes without all that. So, and I don't know what color I'm gonna do. Oh my god, I dipped my nail into the bronzer. So I'm going to take this color called Firm, yeah, on um, this flat side, and we're just going to pack that onto the lid. It's a 
pretty color. It's like a kind of gunmetal, kind of copper ish gold. blending brush and make it look a little bit softer I'm going that with that other side that was on the brush and let's pick up this what is this Alice Cooper color right there so so far we've legit used all the shadows in the in the palette I don't know, it's looking a little muddy to me, but maybe once we finish up everything, I'll, I'll come together. So I'm gonna just take that and place that right there. It's like a cranberry kind of color with like gold flakes in it. Transition shade. Oh my god, it's so hard holding this. Okay. And we're gonna get it with our fingers. Just apply it right there in the center. Give that extra shine. I'm gonna take go in with that champagne color once more and apply it on the inner. This is really gonna kind of liven up the look a little bit more. Some liner. This is the Man Eater eyeliner. I don't want to overdo the line, so I'm gonna build it up a little bit. Mascara that I really have um, on hand right now in the makeup bag is this Clinique High Impact one. So using this duo eyelash glue, like always. And I have like some lashes that like I oh crap that I use that are like mink so that you can reuse them um, so I'm just gonna put some of those on you know I think I lost my lily lashes like it's for like $30 and I don't ugh, I lost them I don't even know if these are it to be honest they might be So we got the lashes on, really pull the look together a little bit more. I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape, of course, okay, and do a little concealing. Okay. I'm going to 
blend that out. Take this Morphe sponge beauty blender, and of course, we're gonna set with this Shiat Extraordinary powder. I love this powder, it's translucent, super lightweight, and it brightens. powder brush here, just like a little flat one. Of course my e.l.f. Um, powder in light medium. that was in the box and oh my god I'm gonna have trouble opening this I hate when packages do that like they tape it down how on earth am I gonna open this okay looks like it has some oh has a little clear thing I thought this had a contour shade, but it doesn't. I mean, there's this one, and then there's this really dark purple. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna go in for this dark purple. It kind of looks like a pinky kind of color on the face, though. Okay. Just go for like just a blush only kind of look. I took this light shade and swept it under the um, eyes, and then this darker shade to kind of on the outer to make it look more smoky. So now we're going to do highlight real quick. Um, the box um, doesn't have a highlighter, so I'm going to use this uh, Go To Beauty. What is the Bad Babies makeup line that she's sponsored by? I really um, do like the colors in here though. Um, especially like the champagne and gold color so I think I'm gonna go with this gold dip it into the brush and I wet the brush afterwards so it doesn't mess up the product and it kind of applies a lot better Wow, that's a really blinding highlight right there Go in with the gold shade again. I love the packaging on this, like the hollow. It's super cute. And we're gonna blend it out. Wipe off the bank. Yeah, that blush is like really out there. I don't, I don't know if I like it too much. Now it did come with the lip oil, but that was just kind of like a moisturizer. So I think I'm gonna go with probably a nude. So this is by Bucks Buxom Cosmetics in Poison Nectar. So I'm gonna just apply this. And check the nude color so that it doesn't really take the focus off the eyes. I'm gonna spray myself with this rose water. So overall, um, I didn't. I don't know how I felt about this palette. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I was like, oh, there's no contour shade, but this is why. There's a contour shade in here. Oh my god. Should we do it real quick? Okay. You know what, maybe maybe next time. The look actually looks pretty okay with just like the pink kind of cheeks. So the palette was actually pretty cute. The shadows were 
pretty nice. Blush palette's really cute, has a lot of colors. Getting brushes, you can never have enough brushes. Um, this mask, I'm gonna give it a try. This is for the hydration face product and the face wash. A cute little brush, I love this brush. So pretty, I love glitter. And the nail polish was really cute. I'm gonna paint my nails this color probably when I'm done with the um, gel nails. And a lip oil. So that is it for all the products. If you guys aren't already um, subscribed, go ahead and definitely hit that subscribe button down below. And even turn on the little notification bell to see when I upload. The best thing that was in here was definitely this little face wash. I love it so much, smells so good, leaves your skin feeling really fresh. And of course the makeup brushes, and I do like the eyeshadow palette. Um, even though it's kind of not the most pigmented, it's still really nice. And the blush palette that was extremely pigmented, but still cute. So that was everything that was in the box.